Hello everybody and welcome to Romance Rose Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this reading is for the 7th of August 2020 and it is for the sign of Capricorn. That being said, this is a general reading so it's not going to resonate with everybody. So please do take what resonates with you, what feels good with you and just leave the rest aside. If you feel as though it doesn't feel good with you, it doesn't you know, it just doesn't resonate right now, then most likely it's just not good for you right now. Um, so just, you know, let it be. If, however, you would like to have your own personal reading, so your energy, your questions, your answers, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and it will be my great pleasure to send you the information on the different type of readings that I can offer you. Also, if you do enjoy my channel and you do enjoy my messages, please do click the subscribe button to show your support and to show your encouragement to the channel. For me, it means the world, so please do um, subscribe. And that being said, tomorrow um, I'm going to have the uh, snapshots are going to be coming out. And the reading for tomorrow night is going to be, um, do they love me or are they just pretending? So that being said, let's turn the cards over on the Alice and on the Golden Rivery and let's go see what kind of information we have. What we're looking for here is uh, two answers. We're looking for, are they going to contact me? And we're also looking for, um, is it over? So I have the Devil, the Four of Swords, the Eight of Wands, I have the Star, I have the Wishing Well along with Time, Mice and a Ring. Okay, so I see you, this is, this is you, and this is them. That being said, you could be a man and them could be a woman. Okay, changes absolutely nothing. This is the way that the pictures are, and they are. Uh, but the uh, star is really about the querent, so it really is you right now. So this is really you just searching for, you know, searching for ideas, searching for information, searching for ways for solutions, trying to try to assess. Also, you're trying to figure out exactly what it is that happened. What could you have done better? This is really about all questioning yourself, the relationship, and all the possibilities. So it's really trying to find yourself in all of this um, and at the same time I feel as they on the other hand are not doing any soul searching they're resting okay they're resting from the battle they're resting from the fights that you had they're resting from all of the fights that you've had because you've had quite a few before actually breaking up and they're just really resting and relaxing and you know nothing much more they are ready though if ever they are attacked again with other questions or you know they are ready to go up to battle they have their swords right at their hands but that being said, they're just resting, they're relaxing, they're being with themselves. But they're doing it in a completely different way. You're doing some soul searching. They're, you know, lazing around. Um, that being said, I know that everything here came very suddenly. I feel as though um, there was perhaps some cheating uh, or a third party, something like that was going on here. There was this, it was very deceitful and there were lies and there were mysteries and suspicions and everything kind of came to a screeching halt. It was just unexpected and everything just stopped. Nothing else was, you know, to be uh, functioning from now on and nothing as it was, um, as it was into the past at any case. So this is really about the news that you received and uh, that was it. Uh, everything stopped from there on. From there on we do have down here um, you've hit the the bottom of a well is what happened okay you and your partner are at the bottom of this wishing well you hit rock bottom and there's only one place left to go it's up. So um, if they're on their way up, you need to go on your way up too. You need to heal from this and you need to try and this is about using your management, your time management to use it at its very best. You need to take this time. You need to take it for yourself. You need to make yourself feel better. You need to make your self-worth come back, your uh, your competences. You're just loving who you are because you know you have so much to give and yet you feel right now as though you're breaking down and nobody is ever going to love you again and it's never
never going to be the same, but no, it's going to be a million times better the next time around. On top of it, you're going to have learned so much out of this relationship that it should never happen to you again. Um, that being said, in this relationship here, you know, it was both eating at you. Uh, it really had to end. This is loss. It's theft. It's destruction. It's stress. It's troubles. It's it's really about slowly losing something so and someone so this is really about the relationship who was just kind of you know slipping away and I have the ring here but the ring really you know just means problems it means struggles it means instability it's broken contracts so um, the answer is no and no so they are not going to be contacting you and no they are not going to be coming back unfortunately um, unfortunately for you right Right now but I tell you much better is waiting for you um, that being said if you do have any questions you would like to have some guidance on your personal situation please do contact me romancefultarot at gmail.com don't forget to subscribe stay tuned for the next videos and we'll be seeing each other very soon take great care of yourself and many blessings